In 69 AD, one of the most treacherous poisoners in the entire empire had been sentenced to death under the order of Emperor Galba. Dragged in chains through the streets of Rome to her place of execution was a woman from Gaul, the notorious producer of poisons, Lacusta. Although mentioned in countless ancient stories, her life itself was mysterious, but her inventive, cruel, intelligent, and clever ambitions remain the stuff of Roman legend. While the details of Lacusta's early life are few, it's known that she was born a common peasant somewhere in the Alps of what is now present-day France. Given her Gallic background, it's safe to assume she inherited at least some of her dark knowledge of hemlock and the like from her regional ancestors. When she finally arrived in Rome as a young woman in the first century, she was already deeply entrenched in the world of botany and how to best concoct potions aimed at agony and death. Using anything from mushrooms to human blood, Lacusta often employed animals as her test subjects, measuring the potency of her toxins through their reactions. She was the ultimate designer of death, able to determine her victim's final moments through the potions she created. There was a long stretch of time when Lacusta's victims died without suspicion, but her reputation as an ancient hitwoman couldn't stay secret for long. She was arrested twice for murder, but neither charge could stick given the influential positions of her customers. Both times, powerful Roman senators used their connections to free her, mostly out of selfish concern for her ability to expose them. They also depended heavily on her crafty ways as a method for dealing with pesky enemies or threats. Having friends in high places kept Lacusta out of jail and her lethal business flourishing. Around 54 AD, it seemed Lacusta had run out of luck when she was arrested by a Roman official a third time for the crime of murderous intent. Much to her surprise, however, she was saved from further prosecution by Julia Agrippina, a Roman empress of one of the most prominent women in Rome. Under the eye of Empress Agrippina, she had the need of Lacusta's abilities in her hushed doings in the Roman political system at the time. With Lacusta having been reputed as an extremely skilled purveyor of poisons, Agrippina's use of Lacusta's skill was documented by Tacitus Ciotonius and Cassius Dio during the Empress's time. Lacusta was known to supply Agrippina with poisons and had used them for the assassination of Emperor Claudius in 54 AD. A supply of poison-coated mushrooms had been used and given to Claudius, however had proven ineffectual. He fell from his throne, alerting others around him to his distress, and was rolling about on the floor when his doctor approached. As was the medical practice then, the doctor stuck a feather down Claudius' throat to induce vomiting. But Lacusta was clever and had already soaked the feather in strychnine-like poison that, as soon as it touched his throat, secured his timely death. Nero was now the Emperor of Rome. As a result, Lacusta was expecting a big payout for her perfect assassination. But what she received instead was an accusation of murder by Empress Agrippina herself. She had been double-crossed by the woman who had hired her, and there was little she could do about it. While imprisoned in 55 AD, Emperor Nero had also made a request of Lacusta's services even whilst she was imprisoned. This resulted in Lacusta providing a poison to kill Claudius' son, Britannicus, of which the poison was proven ineffectual and had enraged Nero to the point of flogging Lacusta, accusing her of healing with medicine rather than poisoning. She immediately concocted a stronger poison, testing it on a pig that had fell dead on application. The poison was then brought to Britannicus and had succeeded in the killing. She was rewarded with a hilltop villa in downtown Rome and a pardon. Upon the death of Nero, there was a rounding up of Nero's associates and favorites, to which Lacusta was captured and brought to the place of her execution to meet her fate at the hands of the Empire. But despite her brutal death, Lacusta remains one of the best known assassins of all time and a dark legend in the nefarious world of ancient Rome.